Welcome to Thursday's Thought for the Day. If you haven't already read today's Bible passages, you may like to at least read Luke 20, 9-19 and 1 Samuel 2, 27-36 now. Though Jesus was in the final days leading to the cross, he still had time to tell stories. But they come with a sting in the tail. Once again, it's a challenge to the paper tigers around him. Those who had little time for God's messengers, or even his own son when he came. Their motive was their own self-interest, and to escape any sense of accountability. Hophni and Phinehas, in 1 Samuel, were living just like this. Jesus is saying that we're all tenants in God's vineyard. That in itself would be a difficult one for the Jewish authorities to swallow. And as tenants, they were accountable to the point where they could be evicted. It all depended on their recognition and relationship to the owner and their acceptance of his son. In this thinly veiled summary of Jewish history, Jesus points out that time and again, prophets who'd been sent to turn the people back to their relationship with God have been ignored. They've been ill-treated or even killed. I guess Jeremiah is probably one of the main examples, rejected again and again, yet persisting in sticking with his people and urging them to turn back to the God who loved and called them. The unknown prophet in 1 Samuel 2, who warned Eli and his sons of their plight, was another who was ignored. Eventually, the owner's son, who had even higher authority, was to be similarly rejected and lynched, with dire consequences for the people. A prayer. Father, help me to heed your warnings. Amen.